term supply is used to describe the total amount of a specific good or service that is produced by sellers. Producers may choose to supply goods at varying prices and will change that quantity based on many factors, including the cost of production. A supply schedule shows the quantity supplied of a good at different prices and can also show the minimum price a producer needs in order to start selling products based on their input cost or available technology. Consider a market with three producers, Dawn Donuts, Sweet Kings, and Sprinkle Sugar. They each supply donuts to their local market, but each has different costs and therefore a different willingness to supply donuts at each prevailing price. Donut prices range from $1 to $5. At a price of $2, Dawn Donuts sells six donuts, Sweet Kings sells 10 donuts, and Sprinkle Sugar sells two donuts. The number of items supplied by all three producers together is the market supply, which at $2 is 18 donuts. Six plus two plus 10 is equal to 18 donuts. Market supply is the sum of the quantity supplied of all sellers. A supply curve is a line joining different combinations of quantities supplied and prices. Price is shown on the vertical axis and the quantity supplied is on the horizontal axis. There is traditionally a positive relationship between price and quantity supplied, thus the supply curve typically has a positive slope. A change in quantity supplied is shown by a movement along the supply curve, while a change in non-price factors will shift the entire curve. As the price of a good rises, all else equal, producers are willing and able to offer a greater quantity of that good for sale. As prices fall, producers are willing to supply less of that good. One of the factors that can be held constant, for example, is the cost of production of the good. As the prices rise above the cost of production, producers can make a profit and will be willing to sell the good. If the price of alternative products are also held constant, producers will want to sell more of the good because the price increase makes it more profitable to offer the good for sale compared to the alternatives. It is important to distinguish between supply, which is the entire range of combinations of goods offered for sale by producers and prices as shown on a supply curve, and quantity supplied, or the quantity of a good or service that producers offer at a specific price. The quantity supplied is different at each price point. A change in quantity supplied is shown as a movement along a stationary supply curve from one point to another. All other factors that influence producer selling decisions are held constant. A change in supply, in contrast, is shown by a shift of the whole curve. Supply can change for a variety of reasons, a change in prices of input goods, technology changes, expectations, or even the number of sellers. Producers in a competitive market sell different quantities at different prices in order to maximize profit. This happens because producers have different costs of production. In general, as prices rise, producers will sell more units because they receive more revenue by doing so. In contrast, if prices fall, producers will sell fewer units and may even shut down, leaving the market entirely. When prices rise again, they may re-enter the market.